We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. So in that previous video, you pretty much just saw me putting together the computer itself. I put the CPU and the RAM in, and um, yeah, pretty much I got everything installed into this case. The reason why I didn't really film it was um, I had to do a lot of modification in order to fit everything in here. So the one thing I can recommend is not to use this case if you do decide to water cool it. Even though it does say that it's not compatible for water cooling, but I kind of wanted to take the challenge to make a really small gaming computer that is water cooled and will stay really cool. So uh, starting with the cooling system, I got this Nexus Alpha Cool Radiator. It's 80 millimeters in width, and I read a lot of reviews on this, and supposedly it cools i7s with 2080s uh, very well. So shouldn't get too hot temperatures, but uh, we'll test that out once this is finished. And I'm using a course, I mean, yeah, Corsair QL120 RGB fans. So should uh, put on a nice show. And then moving on to the pump slash reservoir combo, I'm using a Lang DDC uh, pump right here, along with the Fantex Glacier series reservoir. And originally I was gonna mount it kind of facing vertical, but that pretty much wasn't gonna work and I didn't wanna cover the ram at all. So I had to go with the horizontal way. And to do that, I had to make this custom uh, reservoir holder. All it really is is just a piece of aluminum angle that was cut and then uh, bent on the sides for it to mount to the case itself. And um, yeah. Moving on to the components, I'm sure you saw them and also in that picture, but this is the Trident Z Royal. And there's 32 gigs of RAM right there and an i7-9700K. And yeah, this is the Asus Z390 Mini ITX gaming motherboard. So uh, yeah, and then moving on to the back over here, we got the EVGA Hydro Copper RTX 2080. So overall this computer is really small, but it has pretty much the top of line specs. This is all you really need, if not more. But uh, yeah, other than that, down here I also, I'm pretty much doing a push-pull configuration on the fans. This is a Noctua fan, so it's supposed to be a lot quieter, but uh, and then I use this one up here, mostly because it lights up. I also use an another Noctua fan up here, it's a Slim Series one. And I had to custom cut a hole behind this area right here, which is going to allow intake of cool air in the back. And then this is exhausting down and then down again through this one. This one is also an exhaust. I'm going to do some tests. So um, in the future, I'll pretty much see if it's going to perform better if it's an intake or if it's an exhaust, but uh, we'll see. And yeah, by the way, in case you were wondering, this is my cat, Eva. What are you doing? No. 
Hey, get the ball. But, um, yeah. She just kind of chills there and watches me do all the stuff. But yeah, in the next part, you're probably going to be seeing me uh, put fill this up with some liquid. And I went ahead and got the EK Cryofuel. I got blue and purple. She's over here guarding the purple. Uh, I'm not sure which color I'm going to go with. Depending on, I'm, I think I'm going to go with the purple one and then blue. I'm going to be using for uh, my PS4 Pro. So that, that'll be in a future project. That won't be for a while. Alright, so here it is. Here's the finished product. Um, all the purple liquid is in there. It's completely bled out, so as you can see, there is still some bubbles here and there. But um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much done. I'm going to plug it in and see how it goes. There you go. Full RGB everywhere. LEDs. Alright everyone, so the computer is finally done. I can finally take this plastic piece off right here. No, I don't want to do it. Why? All right, fine. <laughs> and then there's one more side. You can do that one. All right, fine. So boom, there it is, all in its glory. All right, so here it goes.